I don't often do updates, because I rarely have anything going on at all, let alone more than one thing at once. But some of you might be wondering where where are all the cartoons, and fuck off you sweaty cunt and give us the cartoons and so forth, but pipe down! We're already four episodes in, and we're just uh, we, we're biding our time before we uh, upload them somewhere less grimy than my channel, shall we say. And when I say we, that's the other thing. Um, to explain to you why it is I've been a little uh, distracted lately would be to um, rather gloat. Well, <laughs> I'll take you. Uh, I'll take you through my priorities. Right? Okay. We're going. We're going mobile now <laughs> for the first time since fucking Tallulah. <laughs> um, right. Uh, bottom priority is uh, is this half. Five. Oh wait. Well, bottom priority would be. <laughs> Yeah, there's both b bottom and top priority, unfortunately. Fucking day job. I'm considering getting, getting a Patreon just so that I... There's a one in a million chance that it might lead to me not having to fucking post again. Yeah, it didn't work out with the BBC. <laughs> I can't imagine what it was about me they didn't like. Probably that I'm not a pedo. But yeah, next priority is the old Firefox window. Uh, <laughs> in which good old Dark Cheese TV is, is still uploading a video every Sunday. Fuck you, Dark Cheese TV. No, fuck you, Dr. Ranmaker. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, and uh, if you wanted... <laughs> Look, finally some proof that I am actually the one <laughs> animating this stuff. Yeah, see, there's Karen. You want to move her around, see? Uh, move her arm. Woo! Legs. Woo! That's all right. <laughs> undo. Always undo. You never get anything done unless you undo. Uh... Where's the other ones? Yeah, see, there's Hannah. There's Allison. There's Diana. Who's that? Hey, who's that? Oh, you can't see it very well. It's Victor Zen. <laughs> hey, who's that? John the Otter. I'm funny. <laughs> John's surprisingly difficult to draw as an otter, you know? You'd think he looks like an otter, but he totally does not look like an otter. Sage, on the other hand, looks like any animal. You must draw Sage. He's why cavemen painted on walls. <laughs> and yep, yeah, uh, is our latest um, target. <laughs> I can't remember who it's based on, but it's a sloth. And yeah, and this is how we put it together. Me? Eh? Anatomy of a feminist. It's just a mismatch of body parts. <laughs> and uh, priority slightly above that because it involves actual comedy is this gigantic clusterfuck. Yes, I do all that shit as well, is the sound. It's my cutting room floor, basically. I have no chance of making that sound in the least bit interesting. I should find that sort of thing interesting. Um, so let's hop over to the Chrome window, where we have the highest priorities of all. Largely because they're um, emergent and, uh, well, time sensitive. I'll escalate quickly, shall I? <laughs> uh, we've got the blog post I did for Thank You Badges, we've got the feature image I did, didn't get a load of it, we've got the review I did for the Badger podcast, got the Facebook group, we only just did, there's some magic going on in there, we've got the Twitter sync ups. Who's this random loser <laughs> sandwiched between some legends? What the fuck's going on, people? <laughs> Oy. But yeah, uh, as you can imagine, the most interesting priority is this window here, because that is where I have been chatting to actual honey badgers live every day since Easter Sunday. That, incidentally, is where I am getting most, most of my script ideas now. We spitball them together. Like I'm fucking Trey Parker, and the Honey Badgers are my writing team. That is what I meant by we, and that, <coughs> quite mindfully, is what I meant by gloating. <laughs> I mean, they're awesome, you guys. You know how awesome you think the honey badges are? They're even more awesome, you guys! It's just mad! <laughs>
Hannah's just this rock. She always knows what to say, just whether it's an important point or just a random bad pun. She just seems to just immediately know how to explain. Elise is fucking brilliant. You can't listen to Elise for more than five seconds without going, fuck yes, yes. <laughs> Such a firecracker up the ass, that one. Rachel's awesome. She knows everything about geek culture. Fucking everything. Test her. She's the angel of entertainment, as Crystal calls her. Crystal's awesome, too. She knows everything about sex culture. <laughs> That's just how we roll. <laughs> you got uh, Frank and James sort of twiddling the knobs in every direction, occasionally dropping in on the conversation to go, Boy, is that what you meant? Yes. Whoosh. You got uh, Jess and Yule and Europa and Phil and you know, writers, writers and artists like me who answered the the badger signal, except that they're actually you know good artists. It's kind of an art arty community they've got in there. That might be why they're mostly women. Where arty people meet MRAs in, in the Venn diagram society is a remarkably small sliver of people, and it's largely female. Arty men who give a shit about men's issues and will stick to their commitments turn out to be quite rare specimens. Sage turns up every now and again to, to check in, but you know he's a he's a busy beaver in the you know real world. And yet, yeah, don't get too excited, fanboys. I have yet to speak to Karen on a on a private platform. She's you know super busy in the real world and dead to me. <laughs> and um. We, we think of Alison as being super busy as well, and that you're lucky if she says two words to you. But the thing is, what she's usually busy doing is the Honey Badger Show. Everything it takes to run the Honey Badger Show. In fact, every now and again, what she's busy doing is having rather long, detailed, fascinating and slightly Machiavellian discussions with me about how to deal with the psychological nuances of certain individuals. And folks, you may set your own bar <laughs> regarding <laughs> where you th where you think you've when you think you've truly made it in this business. But bear in mind, the bar might just jump <laughs> to attention by itself and go, "This is how awesome you are now, <laughs> and this is how real shit just got." Deal with it. <laughs> so yeah, come at me, feminists. I am now learning from the master. See what happens. And by the way, never has there been a more shining example of the difference between a leader and a bossy cunt. <laughs> Alison would probably completely reject the label of leader. Most good leaders would. But the fact remains there are things leaders do, and Alison does them. Fucking spectacularly. That's the difference. A bossy cunt wants to be a leader without actually doing anything. A leader doesn't want to be anything, they just do things. So, just so you know, this is why I get to, to talk to Honey Badgers, even though I'm a moron and a dick and a third-rate YouTube nobody. It's because I make an effort, darling. That's how you be a honey... Well, I'm no Honey Badger. I'm just an evil panda. But I'm learning the ways of the Honey Badger. And that's how you be one. Tenacity. Resolve. You fucking bite down. You find your thing and you hold it to your heart. It's not even about brains or brawn. You just keep the fuck going. Whether everyone's listening or no one. So, yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to try and be a bit more fucking spontaneous in the future. Get people talking. This is awesome. And we're not stopping at honey badgers. We need some porcupines over there and some spider monkeys over there. And Tasmanian devils around here and a fucking shark tank up yourself. Do it! If they treat us like animals, we will give them animals. <laughs> we will slobber on their food. We will howl into the night. We will shit on their doorstep until we are heard. Brothers, sisters, do you dig? <laughs> and uh, yeah, there, there will be cartoons aplenty, but not here. Go, go to the honey badges. They are the keepers of the treasures. I merely tinker away at them in my shed here. Go, go forth, discover. How should be a honey badger? Bring the silence, send the signal back. I'm coming on my knees, little guardian light. Goodbye and fuck right.